Designed in Denmark, the Rijka by Fowler Watches is supposed to be built for adventure. But is it? Let's find out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alton. I'm so glad you could join me once again. Hey, if you want to like and subscribe, nobody's stopping you from doing that. A few months ago, I was approached by Trend Him, which appears to be a fashion and accessory retail website out of Denmark. And they sent me a very blurry picture of what I now know is the Rika by Fowler and said, hey, do you want to review this watch? And honestly, I was so curious to see what that blurry chronograph picture would turn out to be that I said yes. And so today I want to show it to you. Taking a closer look at this Fowler Rika, we find that it's a pretty symmetrical dial. And that's owing to the Miyota 6S21 quartz chronograph movement. That movement I really like. It's really, really simple. It's got a running seconds hand on the right, and then it simply has a minute counter on the left. When you engage the chronograph, you find what is almost a gentle sweep, a bit of a mechanical feel to it. Of course, you can pause it and reset it. I think you know how a chronograph works up to this point. Now the crown on this watch is a screw down crown, although the pushers aren't. And the text just above the date cutout tells you that it is a hundred meters water resistant, which is good enough to take swimming, I would say, but you don't really want to go snorkeling with this. Although on their website, they do suggest that you could do such a thing. And in order to do such a thing, they have actually installed a unidirectional countdown bezel. The bezel is nice and clicky, but it does have quite a bit of back play on it at each detent. I think one of the standout features on this watch is the use of silver and black. There are other colorways, but I particularly like this one. The silver chapter rings around the sub dials in particular are quite striking, as are the embossed markers that you find here on the bezel. And that previously mentioned date window also has a really nice silver ring around it that catches the light. All in all, at first glance, this is a pretty nice looking watch. Now the strap is just a really simple affair. It's a nylon strap, although I really do like the way they have done this keeper. And I'll show that to you on my wrist in a minute. Turning it over, we can slide out. We still have the protective sticker on the back, but there's not a whole lot to see here. A little bit of information designed in Denmark, waterproof to 10 ATM or 100 meters, Rika by Fowler. That's about it. We don't need a whole lot of information on the back of the watch, just the pertinent info. Now they say that this is a go anywhere, do anything kind of watch, but to me, this is a pretty typical pilot chronograph. It definitely takes inspiration from vintage pilot chronographs in the past. And one that's been on the market for a while, a modern quartz version, would be the Dan Henry 1963, which comes in at around the same price. Right now, if you go to the Trend Him website, you'll see that this is 315 US dollars, give or take. I'm converting from Canadian. And it has a 10% discount, which means that it's 285 US dollars. And so at that discounted price, this is right in the ballpark of Dan Henry's offering. Now I haven't seen that Dan Henry watch, so I have no idea if it's any good. It does have a Seiko VK63, so the subdial layout is a little bit different. Uh, but just to say that there are at least a couple modern quartz chronographs with this vintage pilot chrono vibe out there on the market today. Taking a look at the case, you're going to see that the brushing on the case is a little bit coarse, but it's evenly applied everywhere. Vertical brushing on the side case. And so it definitely looks pretty good for the price. It doesn't wow me. It, it doesn't underwhelm me. It's just kind of there on the side of the case. You see it has a signed crown. I like the pushers. They're small and unobtrusive. The crown guards Likewise, the crown itself is just a little small for my taste, a little hard to manipulate, especially with white gloves on. Why do I wear the gloves? Well, because fingerprints are the bane of existence. Although I will say dust is second in line. 
So let's talk about picks and nitpicks. Well, first of all, for the picks, I think this is just a pretty good looking watch. It overall is nicely designed and, and simple and fairly restrained for a chronograph. The use of sapphire crystal is always a plus, and I really do like this simple chronograph movement. I think it's my preferred chronograph movement, as I don't really like a busy dial. But of course, taste is subjective, so that really is up to you. I know people really love those Seiko VK63 movements with their triple subdial and the inclusion of a 24-hour counter. I like the strap. The strap isn't bad. But I do have a few nitpicks. So what are my nitpicks? Well, first of all, the loom isn't all that great. It's okay. They don't even tell us what kind of loom it has. It just says it glows in the dark. Really, when you look at it, you can see that this is a fashion and accessory retail website that's not really aimed at the watch enthusiast. Of course, they would love to see watch enthusiasts on board, but they go out of their way to really explain everything to someone who may not be too familiar with watches, and that's not a bad thing, it just is. Uh, secondly, the loom pip is just a little off-center. It just sort of skews to the right a little bit. On camera, it doesn't seem as noticeable, but in person, to me, it's one of the first things that stood out. Also, that counter on the left subdial, when it resets to zero, it's just slightly, slightly off. Now, all of those things don't bother me too, too much, but I just, I wish they had put a little bit more attention into the case. It's a pretty thick watch, and when you throw it on your wrist, it's very slab-sided. I wish that they could have just added a little bit more grace to it. I want to show you right here a Pagani design watch. Now, this is going to be a little hard to manage as it's on bracelet. But you can see that the difference here between these two watches. So a watch like this doesn't need to be quite so thick, quite so heavy. And what they've done to sort of counterbalance its heftiness is they've said, well, this is a rugged, durable watch that can go anywhere or do anything. Honestly, guys, a watch is a watch. Do you really, you really think that, that this is more durable than that? The biggest difference is going to be the gasket quality when they put this thing together. Size in a watch really doesn't make it any stronger, uh, especially when you're, you're talking about watches that are just a couple millimeters thinner than the other. But I just wish they put more into the case. I think, really, if you look at something like this 41 millimeter Christopher Ward, just check out the the curves and the nuances in this case. And, and then compare it to the Trend Him watch, the Fowler watch. Just see how much more work and energy has gone into the case. Now, I know that when it comes to a chronograph, you're somewhat limited because you need a bit of space on the right side for those pushers. But I just wonder, could they have put a bevel on the bottom side to just make it a little more artful? Could they have put a bevel here on the leading edge on the top? I think if they had done something like that, put just a little bit more effort into the design of the case, that this would have been such a better watch. Well, there you have it, the Arika by Fowler, sold by Trendhim, my first watch from this brand. Is it going to be my last? I didn't give it the most glowing review, but I have to be honest and say that to me, this is a decent watch, but there are a couple things that to me really stand out as shortfalls. It could have been so much better. A little bit more attention to detail in the finishing and the alignment, and a little bit more detail and attention paid to the case. And I think you'd have something really, really nice on your hands. But if this is for you, please do check out their website and go ahead and order yours today. I believe it is in stock, so you can have one delivered to your door ASAP. Thank you everyone for watching and a big thanks to Fowler and Trend Him for sending this guy in for a review. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button and subscribe and all of that stuff. It really does go a long way to propping up my fragile ego. Have a great day.